Hi everyone, this is Jack from 3D BioCAD. Today we're gonna go through the implant case which has come from the TRIOS file. So first, in the Denon system, once we got the scan file from the TRIOS, we should have in TRIOS inbox mostly. And then after accept, the case coming into orders. So first thing what we have to do is just we can simply we can check on their left, left bottom side here we have small preview window we can see how it look like but please don't misunderstand for example this case uh, actually number 11 uh, implant scan so we should have some scan by the images or gum tissue images but we cannot see that we have some tools on here but this is actually for pre preparation scan so once we get it simply we can just right click click 3D preview we can see all detail uh, the preview which all the files there so this case we should have upper and lower scan see upper scan with emergent profile and we have scan body images here and also pre preparation here too okay so we good but sometime on doctor side on chair side let me say some uh the breach cases or sometime all on four or all on six cases and then sometimes hard to take the gum tissue images or uh implant level is almost like a match with the gum tissue level uh on chair side the doctor side no really need to take a emergent profile shape the, of the scan so sometimes doctor can skip the scan of the emergent profile so with that case you should have just scan by the images right away without the any uh the original profile shape okay let me just exit out for the implant case from the order scanner we have to have to make sure in the order form i just click the modify before we get into design we have to reset the order setting because in the trios or all the other order scanner that scanner software of course doctor can choose the implant size and brand and everything system kit but once we get the scan file in dental system we have to reset with our own 3 shape library setting so for example this case is a stroman implant case so I just already set it let me just show you the first thing let me say doctor want to have custom abutment plus zirconia crown on top of there let me just say that so we need to pick the implant brand or company name we have to choose one and under there we have to pick more detail setting and then about the kit too the kit meaning is implant size and then system meaning is uh, for example, Stroman, we have like two options. The first thing, we just design one piece titanium custom abutment and send it to Stroman, and they're gonna mill it and they send back to you. Second option is we design like a Draconia plus titanium hybrid abutment. We can design it and then we can mill in our office. So with that, we should make sure, make sure, let me just go through this make sure that pick the right the category and systems everything so i'm not really work with the strongman but let me just show you as a strongman click the strongman under the system we can see local milling strongman development and local milling strongman development so if you pick local mill meaning is your three shape manufacturing setting this is gonna be as a, like your milling manufacturing process that meaning is after design done you can just generate SCL file yourself but if you pick as a strawman abutment one piece or tie base or pre milled abutment whatever uh, the strawman mill if you pick it right after design you cannot generate STL file again you cannot generate any STL file if you pick the strawman abutment this meaning is when I'm design done, only one option, click send the button to Strawman. Okay, so please make sure every single time with your implant case, 
especially with the order scan file make sure pick the right category right system right kit okay so this one I just said as like this I want to design the custom of a mini crown I want to mill my crown myself but I want to uh, send the custom album to Strawman. Okay, so if you see here, go to plus, we can see material Strawman Titan, manufacturer is a Strawman, manufacturing process is a Strawman about my mill. And if I go to crowns plus, we can see material Trujer is a 3D BioCAD crown name, manufacturing process 3D BioCAD, not a Strawman. So after design done, when I click send the button or generate STL file, uh, I'm gonna have a crown file, but I'm not gonna have the uh, above my STL file. It will send it to Strawman. Also, I just set the model printing to. We have model printer here, start assist, we have a big one, so I'm gonna print out the model myself. So I just pick like this. And we can see on top of here, Pre preparation is on and gingerbread scan is on. If chair side, if doctor didn't scan about the emergent profile, you will see this button is off. Okay. Okay, let me just click OK. So this video uh, will a little bit helpful if you don't have a lot of experience with uh, implant case with your 3 j but if you're already super expert you don't really watch this but please watch this maybe maybe just like one or two small things you can have it because everyone has a different idea everyone has a different style concept of the design so I hope you guys get something from us so once design got open I'm still using 2017, but 2018 is just got released recently. So uh, I'm gonna upload the 2018 demo system video soon. Okay, first thing, already we know prepare step. If we work with any order scan file, meaning is digital impression is uh, uh, in the option like order setting or unsection scan if we have it always we will have a prepare step okay i already go through this step before with a dsd design but we can trim out if you want okay let me do on the upper and i'm not gonna do the lower okay. just quickly research line. The line is clean like this. Okay. Let me click next. And then all all my uh, demo case or uh, education video, I just using like a rear rear scan. So sometimes I can have some error. Sometimes I can have some lagging. Please understand it. Sculpting lower, sculpting upper, let me just skip it. Okay. So, if you see here, we have extra scanned scan body. Let me just switch it to monochrome, like black and white. And then we can see the extra scan body library images here. So, if we don't check anything, if you don't click anything, we're gonna have just one touch click, another one touch click on the same spot, scan body merging like this. But if you want to have a more accurate or sometime one point alignment is not working really well, please open the left to bottom side here, alignment settings. Let me just reset. Click three point alignment. We have chance to click three times each scan by the images like this 
actually visual is just almost same so once we got the alignment done go next we have implant fixture positions there virtually so we can think at this time we can think scan body scan has to be good that's why the scan body image is i'm sorry scan of the scan body is the most important part to uh, having a the right and correct implant position uh, within the scan so scan body scan and merging scan body is just super important too because uh, the sometime the implant position can be lower or uh, can go down more or up or rotated so for avoiding uh, mispositioning of the implant fixture position make sure on chair side scan body scan well and the left side merging scan body well so on chair side if you're a doctor make sure your scan body the most important part is every scan body intra auto scan body or lab scan body don't matter we have some reference point so for this guy's trauma we have some cutting space here like a surface here this spot please take it no matter what and on top like a ring area please take it with your scanner no matter what and then on top of the scan body area please take as much as possible so this cutting area and top area is the most important for the referencing and the merging the scan body images and library scan body okay. lab scanner same thing let me go next so I set in the order from crown design plus custom abutment design so for that then a system ask us design like an anatomy pre-design this meaning is just quick set up the tools before we get into abutment design so at this time of course we can design ourselves nicely but if you want to save your time and if patient already have nice provisional or uh, the crown before we can use it so this is good 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 example pre prep scan and prep scan aligned is not aligned right at this time please follow me here align to preparation scan click it and here align scans abutment alignment upper jaw let me just click this we can choose pre preparation click and let me just try to use three point alignment same as a scan body number one one second and last one align so in a few seconds align the super well so when you get some scan file pre prep and prep if it's not aligned well please just use this small function here right bottom here align to preparation so let me just go back to the design if pre prep scan or uh, to shape is not really nice you don't really follow it but anytime if you want we can go follow it and then also I think everybody know this under the mirror tool here if we click it we have button name is move to pre preparation if I click this and then just go on top of the crown click one time software just move like same as pre preparation images okay easy like this okay and then don't worry about the emergent profile shape let me go next so next step we're gonna have abutment design here abutment and posting course that is abutment so with abutment design the first thing type the 
set as like a bar interface it look like just bar interface just a straight cylinder shape but we don't want to use it let me just go over here we have a custom abutment shape also we have a robotic abutment shape here so you can ask me Jack what's different custom abutment and robotic so many many people who just start abutment design with a three shape I just can go over with custom abutment yeah custom abutment type is for custom abutment design that's right but also robotic is another option for custom abutment design so the biggest different thing between the custom abutment and robotic is custom abutment let me just show you super quickly I just uh, using the this yellow dot pointer go up and down make taller smaller and also if you want we can show up the crown we can see the size different and if you want you can rotate it and match the size and done of course at this time if you want to see the immersion profile I just click this orange dot and we can see cross section line through the this line cutting line so we can match or go under here and another option robotic let me just click robotic so look same thing we can just move the dot up and down but did you say that the robotic has a lot more pointer and dots on top of the above machine so this meaning is custom abutment let me just go back to the custom abutment already has a like abutment shape and then we have like minimum not really minimum but we have less tools to shape uh, like a mold for or just the abutment shape so uh, just my just personal recommendation is if you're doing abutment design long time you already know robotic is actually more better than custom abutment uh, the type because custom abutment type is more easier but less control robotic a little bit harder because starting point is already is not really like custom, uh, the canine shape right but we have more chance to change this uh, the abutment shape and size angles and everything so uh, the more if you have more experience robotic is more comfortable for you if you're just beginner uh, just start with the custom abutment type it will a little bit helpful to design the abutment okay so custom abutment we already know now we know we can just grab the dot moving around and we can see the emergent profile line and then 90% of the custom abutment doctor always ask us your facial side go under around the millimeter or millimeter half sometimes two millimeter uh, under the subgingiver like this the lingual side just almost match and then buckle and visual and distal just a little bit goes down then gum line so at this time can you see this black uh, the greed here so greed let me just go over advanced we can see greed size so let me change as a one so now I have one millimeter greed here so I grab here match now the abutment's major side the gum tissue the margin line is under a millimeter under the gum tissue so easy to see and easy to control the margin line of the uh, abutment okay so this is greed work and let me just turn off the another I just want to tell you actual like reality real story okay when you do the design of uh, abutment so margin area here so have you ever uh, have some abutment has a too sharp margin with your actual uh, custom abutment we don't like after mill the titanium abutment we don't want to grind and make it smooth again so when you do the design of the custom abutment please use margin fillet radius 
let me just click up one time, second time, can you see the smooth margin here? But you have to be a little bit careful about the uh, using a margin fillet radius button because once you use this, your abutment has uh, got a little smaller than before when it was young, uh, the zero and 0.1. So more smoother and more uh, shorter. So once you use that, grab the dot and then go out a little bit more. Okay. And emergent profile contour. We can see green dot here. We can just feel right away. Maybe I can just grab that green dot and bring in and out. Yeah, Jay, I know that easy to figure it out. But how about this? Just go on top of the, uh, the orange dot. I'm gonna scroll up and down. Okay, scroll up and down with your mouse. And also push and hold shift button on your keyboard. Grab all of them, scroll up and down. So sometimes this is a super duper helpful when you do the design. So three shape design software, shift, always gonna grab the same color. Okay, if I go on green, shift, grab all same color dot. So in the custom abutment design, crown design, no matter shift, always gonna work like this. Okay. And then don't worry about the whole word thickness, whole fillet. Uh, please no worry about it. But here, shoulder radius. Uh, D4 is a 0.6. We can go under, 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 under. And then we can see like really sharp 90 degree uh, the corner edges. I don't really recommend go down this number. Please keep just 0.6. Either sometime bigger than 0.6 may be can helpful uh, when you want to design crown and abutment at the same time. As we know, uh, I'm not sure how Stroma Mill or how a Nobel Mill, how about the old milling center, uh, the milling machines, but just imagine, think about if we design abutment like this, which milling machine can mill exactly the same as your design, cannot mill like this. So that's why we have to make a little bit of the shoulder radius, smoother finishing, and then uh, when titanium abutment come out, just can be just come out, just super similar as our design, okay? So don't make sharp, sharp corner, sharp, sharp edges, and then complain uh, the milling guy is uh, like, his abutment is not exactly the same as my design because always milling, printing, every technology has some limitations, so please, Let's try to understand what is our limitation. Okay, okay so abutment design, we just saw the how we use the dot, how we move this. Okay, and then on top of here, make it wider or narrower, we can do that. But can you feel that? When I grab this top button here, whole word is just moved together. But Please follow here. If we turn off this lock button, when I grab the top, bottom is fixed there, only top got changed the angle like this. More taper, more straight. Okay. So please remember this small lock button can make big difference. And then the other ones are easy to figure out how to use it. Just angle it, change the angle. Okay. up and down and then if we mess it up always we have undo button and then if we don't really like this we have reset button here to generate auto load the default and fully reset okay once you got fully reset just do this again and then I hope you guys have already experienced with the crown and bridge design. You, we already know we spending like 20 minute or 30 minute with one single crown or upper man. Still, if looks not good, please do undo all. Sometimes make a better uh, result, right? So go over from the start. Sometimes make is better. Just do quickly. And then here, 
with which color it is. A little bit pinky. We can see the how wide about the um, the shoulder area. So for titanium, silver color. If you want to cover all titanium color well, at least we want to have 0.6 or 0.8 millimeter distance from the margin uh, to the abutment. But if you don't have room, of course we can go out. We can see how many millimeter we have for the crown contour, crown thickness. section section it out we can see we have enough room here okay so but my design is not really nice but let me just go next I need to explain a little bit more so after uh, the abutment design uh, parametric we have sculpting tool here too in here if we done nice nice design with a parametric we don't have to do anything on here but if you need, please do a little bit more. For example, this button, plain cut. For this case, I think we don't really need to do it. But when you do the abutment design, plain cut is a super helpful button. So just click it on top of here, left click, drag it down, cut it. Okay, or sometimes when you do some uh, abutment design for interior, Sometimes we need to have some room for facial side. We can cut it like this too. So cutting clearly is a lot better than using wax knife to cut it out, uh, melting out actually. Okay. And with the custom abutment design, normally we don't really check undercut. But can you see here undercut turn on? So if your abutment has some undercut, it's gonna show up as a yellow. So when I design in the parametric, I just make sure I don't have any undercut here. But if I make some undercut, we can see with some yellow color. Okay. So once you have some undercut, just using some wax knife or morphing tool to remove out all the undercut. the sculpting, wax knife, morphing, all the tool works exactly the same as your crown design. Every tools are open. So next step is a margin line. We are not gonna change this. We are not gonna change this. But uh, let me just say, when we mill titanium abutment and draconic crown same time, uh, actually in reality, not many than a lab doing uh, this way, like a, uh, the custom abutment titanium plus draconic mill same time. Technically we can do it, but always you have some issue. The first thing, if my abutment design is not really perfect, we have to modify a little bit and crown not fit. Second thing, we mill correctly titanium, we mill correctly zirconia, but not just fit good. Number three, sometimes margin too short, sometimes margin too long, and we don't like it. And then uh, number, was it number three or four? The just crown is not fit well. Maybe hit uh, the bottom, uh, the top of the uh, the abutment area or inside of the crown just hitting uh, titanium and zirconia uh, we have some issue with that so if you want to do it 
to me, uh, to, uh, my provisional cases with the titanium and PMMA, I just 100% I just go with this way. But uh, actual final crown with the zirconia or sometimes Emacs, I just want to really, really make sure uh, abutment designed well and margin line and die interface. I have to set the right number. So uh, margin line, if you want to go with the more and more safe, safe way, we can just change margin line a little bit longer. Okay, and die interface. I don't know which milling machine you have, but at least you can just test a few crowns with your custom bubbleman and your cornea design. You can just use your uh, default cement gap and extra cement gap. And sometime, uh, not really sometime, after mill one tested, you can just increase or decrease your cement gap and extra cement gap. Uh, you figured out uh, the correct parameter with your uh, the milling and design. So, cement gap and extra cement gap, the most important part. Okay, okay next step. After custom bubblegum design done and margin line, die interface, after that, we just gonna go crown design, and the crown design is just exactly the same as a normal design stack so I just did the copy pre preparation but I don't want to do it but let me just undo and undo to go back to the library crown okay. just make it longer just matching it up a let me just use a morphing tool bring it down just match as much as possible Please understand, I never practiced this case design. guys already know about the contact and occlusion cut, right? But if you don't know about it, for the contact, of course we don't want to have a positive number, please go with minus 0 0.01 with a light contact, 0 0.02, a little bit tight, 0 0.03, probably you need to uh, grind a little bit when you try to make a fit with your model and the crown. Okay. And occlusion, First one, we know desired distance to antagonist is uh, just make a distance from all the antagonist scan images and make, let me set as a point two. If I hit it, already we have, so let me just make a little longer. Like this. Go back here, if I hit point two, software will make space from the any surface of the uh, antagonist scan to crown will have at least 0.2 millimeter space and let me undo it the third one precise distance is work only when we have some touching spot if i hit it nothing gonna work because we don't have any touching area so if i make some touching spot here, here, here. Using it, cut here, cut here to spot. Looks ugly, but after cut, make it smooth it out around here or minus. Sometimes it makes uh, more natural like a passive. Okay, and contact. When you have implant case, using contact cut. Please a little bit carefully use because software can confuse 
the gum area as a contact too, but this time not really happen like that. So after that, I'm just moving out. Skin file if you want, of course, color without crown. Overman is there, crowns in here. Next, okay. Next, I just click next. Sculpt anatomy design for finalized. You can do uh, some designing tool here, but if you've done design well in the anatomy design, you don't have to do anything, right? You know, this part. Let me explain just two more, three more things, and then we're done today. In the finalize, just finalize is finalized. Just software want to give you another chance to fix or modify your design. Okay, let me just skip it. Hit assembly. This part is important. So use scroll hole as a check, of course, because we won't have a custom appointment here. Okay. And we can see whole fillet as a point four. Whole fillet meaning is here from the hole till point four millimeter is like a flat surface here. If you don't like it, reduce this. Okay. And let me just click preview. Okay. But if you go to zero, sometimes software will not pass the design. Sometimes can give you some error. If you have some error messages, just put small tiny number for whole fillet and then you can go to go. Yeah, when I'm doing some support job, uh, I got a many phone calls from the, uh, the three shape customers. They cannot pass the design. Some uh, violation show up, validation show up, uh, cannot pass the design and then mostly the whole fillet number goes up a little bit and then we can go. And then also sometime, really sometime, if you have some case with a custom abutment and crown, but doctor can ask you even the crown make a screw hole like this. We have easy, easy option here. Screw hole through all layers. Screw hole through all layers. Just check, preview, we have a hole on crown and custom appointment too. So I don't know why, uh, actually no, not many people know this small button. So I know you guys, if you need to make a haul, you never think about these buttons here. I could go back to the uh, sculpting anatomy and then using some attachment, grab the holes, using a hole here, cylinder, make a translucent, and I put the cylinder on here with the view direction. Okay. Well, of course, we can make a hole this way. But, but, to me, just go to the assembly. Oops, I'm sorry. Just go to assembly. And then just simply click screw hole through all layers. And then your crown and abutment, both of them has a scroll. Okay. If you know this button, you're good. If you didn't know, now you know. So you're good to go. Okay. So we just saw how to use the abutment design plus crown. And next time we're gonna go through about the screeching crown if you need a bridge. And then after that, the third one, third video gonna be how we do the model build with the implant case. Simply we know. Uh, we can just merge each other, get into the model build. After print out, we have to put the uh, analog in. We know that part, but uh, I have another option. Maybe someone knows it already. Uh, we can print out the custom abutment as a die. So we can save our time to uh, put the analog in and then we can reduce the some error when you put the analog in and then we can save analog price too. Okay, thank you very much.